back to the next video. Um, I think you're gonna question my ability to work on stuff when you hear what I have to tell you. Um, today is Monday the 23rd, 2023, and uh, yesterday, Sunday, I had Merle here, and we were BSing, drinking a beer, talking about um, the gasket set, since it ranges from really the early Volkswagens all the way into the 70s or whatever. And as we were talking, Merle says, you know, hey, that's the O-ring for the flywheel. And I said, what O-ring? And he says, yeah, there's an O-ring in the flywheel that helps seal and prevent oil from creeping past the dowel pins. So immediately, uh, I go grab the old flywheel, and sure enough, there's a groove where the O-ring goes, and I never installed that on the new one um, again. It's not that I'm missing anything, I just haven't worked on any of this stuff, or I don't know these little <laughs> ins and outs. So, this morning the first thing I did was call J-Bugs, because I was hoping perhaps it came pre-installed, and of course it doesn't. So, if you're ever doing this, make sure that the O-ring is on the flywheel before you install it. And, uh, you know, I'm not going to bore you with, I'm not going to bore you with taking the engine uh, in and out, I'm just going to pump the music up, get it in, get it out, get the O-ring on and all that stuff, and then I'll catch up with you then. Um, you know, this Volkswagen or some of these projects, they can be like, oh yeah, I can do that fairly quick, and then they come and uh, they don't wanna leave. So anyways, I'll catch up with you then, and I'll show you real quick what I'm talking about on this flywheel. All right, you guys, so that is the o-ring that i'm talking about there is a groove in the flywheel and there's an o-ring that goes in there and that's the o-ring that prevents oil from going past the dowels so like i said ain't boring gonna bore anybody with all the time lapsing and all that stuff i'll just catch back up with you when it's back in All right, we got the engine out, back in, O-ring on, stepdad stopped by, exhaust is back on, tens are back on, throttle cable's back on, draining gas right now so we can make sure we got good gas in it, and uh, a few little other things like the heater tubes, I'm gonna take those things off, and we'll be ready to start this thing. Okay, we have found that, we changed the fuel filter and we found that all of the castle nuts in the whole front end, none of them had cotter pins, so we got all that done. We have the deck lid back on, everything hooked up as far as wires, fuel, still no oil in it yet. But it's back in there. We gotta fill it with oil and then we'll try and start it. But right now I'm gonna make something that'll attach to this J-tube and then catch this tin so it's not flapping in the wind or Something like that, and it'll help keep some of the cool or the air in there. That's what you see me bending up. So I'll get them bent up, get the holes drilled in it, get it where I like it, and then I'll bring the TIG welder over here and we'll uh, TIG weld into the J tubes. All right, after a few bends. This is what we have. And I'm just gonna put a few welds here so that it won't rattle. Same over here.
suck. Mm. Okay, we're down to the last two things, which is put oil in it and put the wheels on it. I guess three and then start it. But first, it's beer 30. Grab us a soda pop and enjoy the rest of this while we drink a beer. This is the finished product with Steel It. Man, I like that stuff. Just gotta put the bolts back in. Starting fluid or sure. Uh... Give it hell.
Oh yeah, I bet you it's gonna burn all that nasty stuff that's on this. Yeah. Um, so the two adjustment screws are there's a there's this that big one, one and then there's a little one. Where is it? I can't see very well. <laughs> Here I got a a light. So there's the big there's one. one in there. Yep. Well this one this card's a little different. Oh, well, here it is. It's right underneath. It's in there. Oh, okay. So here. Let's so what do you what do you do? Screw well, it out. Let's look at the and figure it out. Two very boring minutes later. are finally done with the Volkswagen project. Uh, I will catch you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. You thought that was it? You thought I wasn't going to take you for a ride in the buggy? Come on, man. Let's take a ride in the buggy. see what it's like. Clutch feels good. Might need to adjust it just a little bit. I don't know. A whole lot smoother than the bug I had, that's for sure.
it's not that bad. It's got some, uh, you know, when you tip into the gas, it stumbles a little bit. That may be the timing. Uh, we're gonna check the timing when my stepdad's got an appointment to go to, but we're gonna check the timing, make sure that it's right. And then this carburetor also came with another jet, but I'll be honest, I don't know anything about these little Volkswagen Picks carburetors. Other than that, it runs okay. Um, it needs an alignment. The steering wheel's not straight. Kind of wanders a little bit. And all the front end was taken apart on this thing. So yesterday I went through and put cotter pins and everything. Um, that's something that he can take care of later. Um, driving this car reminds me a lot about like when I used to ride my motorcycle. When you see anybody wanting to come into your lane or whatever, you start to get on the brake and get nervous because you think they're going to pull in front of you. Um, this thing just doesn't I mean, it stops okay, but these things don't stop like modern cars. That's for dang sure. Sorry, I don't have my GoPro, so I'm having a heck of a time trying to get video and drive. Anyways, uh, I'm happy with it. Um, that'll do it for this video. Uh, like I say, my stepdad is going to come over, but I probably won't film any of that stuff. Um, all we're going to do is check the RPM at idle, make sure it's at like 900 RPM, and then check the timing. And then maybe take him around the block. I'm not sure about the clutch. Feels good to me. We'll see what he says, where he likes it. But uh, that'll do it for this video, you guys. I'll check you out on the next one.